Silicon Valley has become a very interesting place on our planet. Lots of rich, smart people. Finally, we get a TV show about this place. Season one is on Blu-ray Silicon Valley from our old friend, Mike Judge, of course, pioneering of King of the Hill. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and of course, he did Beavis and Butthead. And now he's made a new show about these guys who really are kind of our guys. If you want to live here, you've got to deliver. Like Steve. Jobs or Wozniak? Steve Jobs or Steve? No, I heard you. Which one? Jobs. Jobs was a poser. He didn't even write code. <laughs> they are our guys, even though they're much smarter than we are. They're developing software, and that's something that I cannot do. But I just love everything else that surrounds it because they're so smart and they're so successful. But around that, their lives are just a complete mess because they don't know how to live them. They only know how to do what they do when they're sitting in front of a computer screen, and that's how they become so successful. But what makes this show so great is how they've bonded throughout the series and how they've really come into their own. I absolutely love TJ Miller. I love seeing him in this role. I'm I watch this thing, you know, while stroking my invisible goatee <laughs> as I look at every everything on this show. And you know, it's it was hard for me to get into it. I didn't know that much about it. I didn't really want to see it. I'm very curious about Silicon Valley. Of course, I'm very curious about the money that's being made there, and I'm curious about how smart these guys all think they are or actually are. And so I felt like the show wasn't weird enough or smart enough. It was a little too cliche. These programmers, there's always a tall, skinny white guy, short, skinny Asian guy, fat guy with a ponytail, some guy with crazy facial hair, and then an East Indian guy. I thought, this is too familiar. It's too reliable on all these things that we're familiar with already. I wanted it to go somewhere I didn't anticipate, that I didn't expect. And it does eventually, it just takes a little while for it to kind of go to places you don't expect it to go. Sure, well this is the first season, so I think it's still finding its footing. It's one of those shows though that I can have on in the background and still live my life and do things around the house and still be able to pay attention. I don't think this is the best show. It's not quite as good as I was hoping it would be. Maybe I expect too much from shows the way I expect too much from people and from life and from this show, frankly. <laughs> But I, I, had, I had I'm more... so happy that you're admitting this I now. I am finally. But I had fun watching this show, and it's a, it's a short show. It digests very easily. Yeah. It's only 30 minutes, each of these things. Very bright, very colorful. There's energy in there, and it's, it's hard not to get hooked into that energy. So I've been enjoying it. I don't know if I can recommend purchasing it on Blu-ray, yeah, though. Yeah, Blu-ray is weird because you're right. You said this when we talked about Game of Thrones season yeah. four. It's just you got to get up and change the disc. There's only two discs, five <laughs> episodes. But changing that disc even once feels so painful. Like, why doesn't it just do what I want it to do? It's true. It's not like we're watching this crazy world or fantasy world play out on many different discs. I feel like it should all just be on one disc yeah. with the special features. Yeah. And the special features aren't, I mean... Special enough. That They're not, they're not the greatest. I mean, the little behind the scenes uh, vignette. Yet. It, it's it's okay. It's right. not the greatest. I do enjoy the show though. And if you have HBO, obviously you've already been watching this thing. So uh, if you need to purchase it on Blu-ray, I don't know. I don't know if I can recommend the actual pay for get disc put in. I definitely cannot. What are you going to score a Silicon Valley on Blu-ray? Gets a seven. <laughs> Gets a seven for me as well.